I was trying to put colours underneath that I knew would give me a surprise when I painted over the top. And then I scraped, maybe scraped the back on some of them. So I'd find little bits like this green that you don't expect to see on a calf or a cow. And it somehow enlivens it. The cows that are out here that we breed are black, Angus, and could look a bit dull if you painted them black. I'm sure some people could manage it. I, I got out my finer brushes because mm -hmm. I think I painted more in a, a watercolour sort of way with these. Often I paint with much bigger brushes, like so, thicker and, a, and coarser. But because I was painting the fur, I wanted to overlap the colours more to make new ones. And um, so I used the smaller brushes for those. So I'd mix up my colour and try to get different directions and then take another one. I try and swap brushes so that I can um, get a different feel and texture. You've got to work quickly with acrylic because they dry so quickly, but as you're going, the paints are forming new colours. And that's what I really like because uh, you can mix a colour on the palette, but you get a lovely surprise when a colour makes another colour on the palette. It, it keeps your interest and you, you want to keep finding out, oh, what happens when I put that pinky colour over a grey or a brown? What new colour am I going to get? 